I mean, uh, good afternoon. I'm going to talk about uh, disruptive technology in RF and some aspects of antenna technology. Disruptive technology, you know, disruption means which if you take from the dictionary, it's a disturbance or problems. The second definition which has come emerged recently is radical Product changes to an existing industry market due to technological innovations. And there is a caveat here that no industry or system it could be even medical system or anything else, the medical, printing, talking, any system it is immune to digital disruption. Digital technology has disrupted all the older uh, systems which we had it. Including, if you go to a workshop, you find there also the digital technology has intervened and most of the industry, uh, most of the machines, particularly CNC machines, etc., are controlled by digital technology and of course the uh, use of computers and IT. Disruption, disruptive or innovation. A disruptive technology or disruptive innovation is an innovation that helps create a new market and value network and eventually goes on to disrupt an existing market and value network. Uh, so I, particularly if you see a value network if you go into that uh, aspect, in last two years, because of the pandemic, our total working of market as well as, the, uh, I mean, anything you take it, uh, including the human values have changed considerably. A business theory popularized by Clayton M. Christens to describe how a new technology can affect existing technologies, particularly if it is unexpected. This particular theory he gave it long back in 1997 in his best-selling book The Innovator's Dilemma he separates new technology into two categories sustaining and disruptive sustaining technology relies on incremental improvements to an already established technology this disruptive technology lacks refinement but often has performance problems because it is new appeals to a limited audience and may not yet have a proven practical applications such was the case with the Alexander Graham Bell's electrical speech machine, which we called as a telephone. And now if you see, it has been completely disrupted by mobile. In my house, still I keep a telephone so that my grandson can uh, use it because many times he is alone in the house and he doesn't be... Yeah, don't allow him to test the mobile. You see how the things get changed. Even the things which are in a sustained way gets changed. Take the railway. You know, we have got a particular, we still go on the two lines, but with Bande Matram, Bande Bharat, and uh, Bande Bharat, and uh, so many other new trains, our uh, total way of uh, travel itself is getting disrupted. In booking the tickets, getting your uh, refreshments, getting pulleys, etc., everything is getting disrupted. Uh, disrupted. This is these are the uh, you know. I mean, I am going to show you this uh, how it's a, see. If the top is most uh, demanding use, then uh, high quality use, then medium quality use, and low quality use. These are for a, any existing technology. But when the disruptive technology takes place, it uh, you know uh, I mean supersedes everything and it takes goes exponentially. Some examples are most, uh, you know, popular example of disruptive technologies, mobile telephones with virtual intelligence capabilities for projection and display. This uh, projection and display is uh, mostly uh, you know, high end uh, mobiles. We, but uh, still uh, smart telephones have got all what I'm going to talk. This is the one single biggest, largest important example of disruption engulfing PDA, communication, computer, camera, clock, navigation, health, monitor, etc. And of course, talking. The, you see the progress in mobile communication. And they, I mean, uh, you see first, uh, there used to be long antenna. And uh, in Bungie, it was an analog signal, mostly in uh, America, USA. Others did not adopt it. Others went for digital signal, Europe, etc. And that's why today we are thankful to Europeans and others 
not following Americans. So we could go to the digital domain. Then we came to uh, 2G, second generation, digital signal, GSM based uh, technology, SMS we could send, MMS we could enable, and email, web camera, etc. with 2.5 G came. Then came 3G, first mobile broadband, global roaming, smartphone era came. And now 4G, uh, 4G is IP based protocols, mobile broadband, cost effective compared to 3G and we could see movie etc also in that one. Most of us are using still 4G only. Now 5G has come, it's not in the horizon. Bangalore also, uh, I mean I get an advertisement that 5G is available with Airtel. If you got a 5G enabled mobile and of course daily etc it has come. 5G has been uh, even, uh, you know, Reliance has launched 5G in North Dwara first, you know, because they, so 5G is available even in other corners of the country also. 5G is going to take over, maybe in the next uh, six months, we may have to change our mobile, because 4G will be continuing. Do Dr. Corey will be talking about 5G, 6G and beyond. Space technology is another thing which has disrupted the total thing. Uh, yesterday's, uh, you know, uh, some one uh, rocket by a private company. It has three payloads inside it, and uh, you know how a, in two years a small company can make a sounding rocket. In our terminology, I will call it as a sounding rocket. And uh, they have come up maybe in three four years time or less than that, they will come up with this small satellite uh, launchers. I understand that the space uh, technology which was uh, confined to ISRO. Now, there are more than 100 startups and pro providing satellites even to oh, I mean, countries I mean, countries like US. So, space technology, its deception came in the form of communication, remote sensing, broadcast, weather monitoring, PNT services, mobile satellite communication. Now, Starlink, that is Elon Musk thing, has decepted the entire concept of communication, particularly the internet and IoT. The Space technology, which uh, uh, era, myself, including my uh, Vaklu Saab, who worked considerably in this area, we thought the communication satellite is a must for having a communication. A low earth orbiting satellite is a must for remote sensing and broadcast. And weather monitoring has to be done either by low earth orbit satellite or there should be a satellite in the geos stationary orbit like our INSAT, PNT services by GPS. Or GLONASS, we have to be either in the geostationary orbit or we, we could be in the middle earth orbit. Then mobile satellite communication it needs a, a satellite in the geostationary orbit or a constellation like a, 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 you know a Iridium. But Starlink has disrupted the entire concept of communications. Particularly, he makes a satellite. His design test is simply launch satellites and mass and not only satellites. Uh, will be used, his satellites will be used for communication or internet. He talks about internet or internet of things, but he has proven in the recent Russian Ukraine war but that he can do the navigation also. So he can replace the GPS, Donas, Navik, all the things through his uh, Starlink satellites. And he's going to launch some like 4,600 satellites. Then uh, one pro is going with the help of Airtel, uh, India is going to launch. Uh, uh, I mean, equally 2,000 satellites. We launched 36 of their satellites from using our uh, uh, GSL Mark III. Or, uh, uh, so that way, we are finding that even the space technology, there is a disruption. And all the disruptions are having because of the digital technology availability, because of miniaturization, increasing the uh, processing power. New materials, and of course, the manufacturing technology with the 3D, etc., has uh, changed the total concept of uh, machining. So, we, we are seeing that uh, disruption in every part of uh, our life is there. And 4G, 5G, 6G on the horizon, communication are the new examples of disruptive technology. Uh, my friend Dr. Corey will explain all the things. But I feel if Elon Musk goes in the same way, 5G, 6G, we may get through. Uh, satellite itself, we don't have to have that many uh, towers. Uh, presently, are there, but we may not. We are not having towers. 
and something may come out, the beam switching, etc., may happen in the space itself. Kelly Health is a disruptive technology because it appears to be threatening the traditional healthcare and has the potential to transform the industry by reducing cost while increasing quality, patient satisfaction. I'm not sure in the pandemic, I mean, whether the cost was reduced, but definitely this, uh, uh, you, you know, telehealth was used extensively by most of us, you know, using the mobile and uh, talking to the doctor, showing the symptoms and even the x-rays, etc. x-rays and reports were exchanged on the, with the mobile. So that way, it became a telehealth. You don't have to have a complete separate system for that one. And it did provide, it, uh, it did help for the healthcare and healthcare workers and patients equally. Whether it was up to the patient's satisfaction or increase the, reduce the cost, I'm not sure about that particular aspect. But definitely, when you uh, robotic controlled uh, the surgery, which will, uh, which is happening and supposed to be more accurate, less blood is lost. And this is an example of disruption in medical. Microwave photonics, quantum communication, quantum computing, quantum internet, hybrid quantum information network is another thing. As and when it comes, it will disrupt the total existing system of computers, communication, etc. And I am not so sure whether I can predict what will be the higher rate of uh, higher you know, limit of data communications. Because in quantum, it, uh, the switching takes place in between the two states of energies. So the conventional physical laws do not apply here. MIMO communication, MIMO radars, multi-input, multi-output, synthetic aperture and cognitive radars. So even the concept of radar itself will get changed when the cognitive radars comes into market. The Starlink satellites, many more in Leo constellation as a replacement of conventional communication links, including communication links using geostationary orbits. Advent of new and miniaturized ultra wideband antenna systems, use of frequency selective surfaces, defective ground planes, use of meta materials for antennas, smart reconfigurable and adaptive antenna systems with frequency diversity, dialectic and dialectic resonator antennas as a part of a system on chip will replace the total concept of big big antennas and the concept that metal is a must for antennas um, yeah, or in the past reflectors are a must on all those things but with uh, uh, array you know on what we call it cognitive arrays and smart arrays uh, maybe reflectors will be replaced GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Navic, etc. have uh, I mean, changed the system for position, navigation, timing. Smart cities and transport, that's another thing which is coming up. And all the disruptive technology will be used for smart cities and transport. Your home TV with multimedia and internet facility. Uh, you know, uh, software defined radio, slightly old concept, which is getting uh, replaced by the cognitive radios cognitive radars and cognitive even uh, your home system are uh, will place your commercial systems cognitive radio technology has the potential of being a disruptive is the dawn, dawn of radio technology has been within the domain of management agencies both private and government that includes our wpc disruption in rf test equipments it's very important, particularly for the researchers, academicians, uh, that, you know, we, we used to have, a, like, I remember I bought, I was the first person to buy in ISRO, in somewhere in 76, 77, network analyzer. And the full network analyzer of SP came, and I needed two tables, you know, uh, for uh, uh, two lab tables to uh, put the network analyzer. It had everything displayed separately. I mean, you have a rectangular space separately or uh, circular separately, smiths are separately. Then uh, since it was a couple of synthesizers were there, frequency synthesizers were there. I think the persons of that era will know that the selectors were there. So many things were there in that one. All those things uh, have come. Uh, we used to have a separate uh, uh, oscilloscope and the modulation analyzer, the signal generator, all these things were there. All these things have come in one small uh, 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 
what they call it the uh, field pro uh, network come spectrum analyzer come analyzer sigma modulus analyzer everything and that's uh, like a laptop or a smart other than laptop there are hurts for communication so, imaging EM weapons and use of etc is another deception which we are seeing it and which will become quite important in maybe next two years drones drones are replacing and changing the total paradigm of transportation remote sensing entertainment communication surveillance military applications drone constellation of communication multi input and multi output multi frequency synthetic aperture radars and drones may replace even the leo constellation satellites like uh, alan musk is making uh, communication satellites in uh, geo orbit or gso orbit or maybe mid Or orbit uh, out of market drones may make uh, everything out of market in the near future if we have a, you know a drones and we charge them from ground by using the wireless technology then drones can stay there for infinite time and uh, we don't need the leo constellations we each uh, country you know earlier we had a concept that we can put a hosted uh, balloon sort of thing high altitude platform where for a particular for a city and we made a study i was a prime person to study that we needed 20 uh, such uh, balloons at the height of 35 kilometers to cover the total country for communication tv even for the uh, you know uh, surveillance purposes radars etc but now i feel that concept is also old in drones we replace everything and drones are uh, re- going to replace the in the taxi system and you know air taxi uh, there it, a demonstration has been made in paris the news was there 3 days back that uh, uh, drones drone taxis will become more popular going from a uh, house to airport in no time high altitude platforms may replace ground based mobiles tv segments which i thought so and it has a potential to replace geo and leo communication satellites but i feel apps will be replaced by drones rf technology for 5g in the iot it is appropriate that a pioneer in radio frequency identification technology rfid kevin ashon should have coined the phrase the internet of things today the iot has moved beyond rfid to encompass almost any kind of ubiquitous sensors connecting the physical world to the internet and that includes uh, a chip put into my pet dog's skin similar chips may be put to the individuals so that there all parameters are already there and the doctor need to scan and get it everything and uh, so they, it can be modified as and when they get changed by the doctor this next wave of connectivity technology including 5g consists of a seemingly endless variety of use cases cases and applications from a wearable devices to smartphones one of the biggest implementation obstacle is the number and variety of competing rf connectivity standards the key trade offs among these standards is how much data the designer needs to transmit versus the distance to transmit all balanced against the battery life of the system now here one should point out that the advancement which has taken place in digital technologies or in that matter processing etc and computer science uh, if the same type of advancement would have taken place in batteries then our life would have become much easier and much better and you know that car, uh, we don't have to bother for uh, emission and etc and environment now there is a big move that we should go everything to solar cells electrical etc but solar cells when the, uh, which uh, factory they are made there also you use uh, I mean, you use the systems and you use the wastes which will pollute this and s- such a wastes may not be able to, we may not be able to process it and it will be uh, like a permanent uh, wastes in the earth so we are we can't be so sure about the future uh, uh, technologies and whether we, we are away from the pollution and whether we are uh, uh, away from uh, polluting our earth mother earth so think but still if the advancement takes place in battery life 
then definitely many more things can be done and our life will become much easier the internet of thing is really about services as much as things these services require connectivity to work the latest cellular technology for the iot is 5g which will enable much faster data low latency for time critical services like autonomous cars and high capacity and bandwidth for 4k video and cloud storage smart cities etc and of course not only smart cities smart vehicles vehicles driverless vehicles driverless aeroplanes and trains the development of silicon based integrated circuits has reached a point where a large portion of an system can be integrated onto a single die along with the antennas and passive circuits how I mean we are not able to miniaturize the antennas because antenna is related basically with the wavelength and wavelength cannot be free space wavelength cannot be miniaturized but so if we go into dielectric then wavelength can be miniaturized but free space wavelength cannot be miniaturized so antennas i am not so sure how much we can miniaturize and how much it will become part of the single die that has to be seen but in higher frequencies by going millimeter wave just try yes it's possible However, to create a complete RF and millimeter wave system, it is necessary to integrate the silicon die with several high-performance passive components. Specifically, silicon integrated circuits tend to have limited performance for the design of transmission lines, filters, and antennas because silicon is a lossy substrate. Development of RF integrated circuits over a chip and three-dimensional metal micro machining, a disruptive technology for millimeter wave filters. comparable with that of wave guide technology but 10 into 100x smaller so you see how much disruption it has taken place uh, because of micro machining in the transmission line sector the polystata process is a three dimensional metal micro machining process that addresses these weaknesses by providing monolithic fabrication of high performance passive when applied to filters in upper microwave and millimeter wave frequency metal micro machining can provide filter performance much better than what we get it polystata is the premier emerging technology for next generation 3d is it's a dielectric micro coaxial transmission line cross the chasm between the traditional technologies filling the void void between bulky high performance hollow wave guide systems and planar micro strip and cpwd CPW system to circuits. It is the first monolithic metal circuit and component technology offering customers high three-dimensional microelectronics with embedded active die. The technology enables heterogeneous integration of the best of breeds: gallium nitride, sil- silicon germanium, silicon gallium arsenide, and MEMS die into a parasitic free 3D stack circuits modules, yielding unprecedented performance size integration and thermal management rfid another example of disruptive te- technology rfid is technology which works on radio frequency it is utilized for auto id for the diverse item the goal of this paper is to unfurl the significant part of the radio frequency identification innovation radio frequency identification is automated identification recognizable proof and innovation having more not worthy identification abilities than the standardized tags around the world the rfid innovation goes about as a base in robotized information assortment recognizable proof and investigation of dynamic framework rfid has discovered its significance in a wide scope of business sectors including animals and of course it's going to be there in human beings also intercom technology rf deception ip development dry evolution of back of house communications instead of dealing with multiple line or uh, mic cables you are working in most cases with a single piece of cat6 fiber and an ethernet switch connection it does not get much simpler than that ip also allows production to be managed anywhere 
not just on site in a traditional ob truck multi channel audio 4k video communication audio can be back hauled from the venue to the back casters hq from nearly anywhere in the world a system such as our telos infinity ip intercom is especially suitable since it does not require a matrix and if you see the simple version our mobile telephone is a simple version of this one with not with so many you know complicated uh, sentences and the uh, words which i have used micro signal routing is also accomplished in air direct micro coax based transmission lines that provide a superior combination of low loss high resolution and high power handling micro level circuits precision across inches of distances enables embedded monolithic high performance passive such as couplers balloons splitters power combiners wave guides and antenna because it is coax it provides dm mode propagation with no substrate boards and little variation loss allowing design simulations to rapidly converge into real hardware providing rapid time to market precision interconnects and transmissions are formed monolithically to allow interface to traditional connection connectors circuit boards and wire boards i must tell all these things will remain in the back end in the front when it comes to a uh, high power transmission on going to the longer distances you need components which are larger in size and pa- power components you need it must be maybe they will be more efficient but i don't think we can will be able to reduce the size silicon based technology including rf silicon by cmos silicon silicon germanium are playing an increased role in the design of rf microwave millimeter wave system the primary driver for this is the cost advantage that silicon can provide however a secondary benefit is the increased level of integration which often provides performance advantage in addition to the cost advantage essential for rf and internal research and development knowledge of maxwell equation theory of em knowledge of s matrix vs double impedance matching polarization knowledge of matrix science noise and environmental effect physics of materials engineering drawing excellent knowledge of computational electromagnetics knowledge various rf and em designs and solvers these things are essential even if we go into the what all technology i talked about it if you go to antenna technology it's conventional linear aperture traveling wave and etc antenna we should know about them but they will be replaced by new antenna technology meta material antenna technology is taking over mimo antenna antenna technology and plasma antenna technology is become very popular wide band ultra band multi band antennas direct resonant antenna smart antenna antennas for portable devices active and adaptive phase arrays passive arrays mixed coordinate polarization the presentation of rotated phase arrays so this these are some of the things which will become very important and the artificial intelligence applications are numerous that are prominent because all this disruption will get further uh, complicated by the use of artificial intelligence machine learning ann and deep learning in i am talking about in antenna propagation but it will affect every part of our technology so the artificial intelligence applications are numerous that are prominent include image recognition classification segmentation in the context of antenna propagation as of now not much has been studied but the use in mimo or multi frequency communication adaptive antenna the smart radars with digital beam forming using external inputs like inputs from surveillance ground penetrating radars next generation wireless technologies do have great potential to use artificial intelligence and machine learning one highly attractive application of deep learning with an in antenna propagation is integration with or replacement of cm solvers there is a, a computer electromagnetic solvers it is thought that through deep learning there is a possibility of large speed up by bypassing the traditional solvers like metro moments fem ftdt etc use of artificial intelligence for adaptive antennas reconfigurable antennas 
use of artificial intelligence in exploiting complex antennas and MIMO trans receivers, array calibrations, EM for biomedical applications, use of artificial intelligence, ML and ANN in metamaterials and frequency selective computing. Plasmonic waveguides and quantum electrodynamics phenomena at nanoscale, that's another topic which we can use it for interdisciplinary research and the emerging field of plasmonic they need to enhance light matter interaction at extremely nano scale regions. Well, yeah, uh, surfaces, finite differences, study of mixed coordinate polarization, presentation of rotated phase, there is, these are some of the things which uh, are in the horizon and good places for research. So, I will end by thinking that there is a convergence and fusion of various technologies, and I call it confusion. Definitely persons of my A, uh, A's group are getting confused with the, in the disruptions in various technologies. Thank you very much.